Hi guys, it's Lisa's Finding the Redo, and I'm here for a haul. A haul for my three honey holes. I'm a 57-year-old retired school teacher who needed to find my redo. And so I decided to find that redo by redoing used clothing, shoes, and hard goods. Now, if you like this type of haul, and you like other uh, like unboxings or giving you my financial numbers, then please hit the like and then subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's get going because I'm excited. It, I didn't find any just that are gonna make me $100, but I found a bunch of bread and butter. So here we go. Let's start off. Um, apparently, somebody had donated a lot of J. Jill products really cute um, open knit sweater by J. Jill and this is a size medium. The next item is a free people. You know how you just know things and I'm sure all y'all who have been doing this a while just know things but this was sitting there and I thought hey that's really nice. And so it's a free people. I don't find any free, free people in my little rural neck of the woods. The next item is, and I don't even know, Adria Dillfield. I just thought the embroidery was really pretty, so I picked it up. It is a larger size. I think it's a 3X. So, you know, when you can find something that's pretty and in a larger size, you pick it up. The next item I thought was so pretty, would look so pretty under a suit, wouldn't it? And this is by White House Black Market. It is a small, but it is silk. And isn't this so pretty? I mean, can you imagine? Oh, that would look so pretty under a suit. Next item is also by J. Jill. It's another open knit sweater. Uh, very similar to the first one I showed you, but just real pretty. Again, I said I think I ran into someone who donated a bunch of uh, J. Jill. Next two items I'm going to lot are two polo shirts. Same style, different colors, same size. They're both women's mediums. Just real cute. And, uh, you know, I might not get much for either one, but since I pay about 70 cents an item at this uh, thrift store, then I pick them up. So for $1.40, I should be able to get a little bit of money. Next item is a Malvin Hamburg from Ma Malvin. I love linen from Hamburg, Germany. Okay, give me a foreign name that's not China and it kick clicks in my head, but then I look down here and it said made in China. But I just thought it was pretty, pretty, pretty pastel yellow that um, in linen, and I just thought I had to pick that up. Now, some of these items come from the thrift store I just mentioned. Some come from a thrift store um, in Marlton, and their items are generally $2 each. Their shoes are $3. And then I have another item where the clothes vary from $2 to $3, uh, and a lot of times they'll run a 50 cent off sale, and they'll do a whole section of goods. So I try to go there every week just to make sure I hit all the sales. Uh, the shoes are generally four, boots are seven, so they're a little more expensive, but I tend to find good things. This is just a real pretty color. It's a westbound linen button-up shirt in an, a large. And westbound is not a terribly expensive um, item, but a lot of people know that, Westbound. And I believe it comes from Kohl's. Uh, you might see them at Macy's, I'm not sure, but they come from Kohl's around here in our parts. Okay, the next item is a J. Crew item. It's a medium, and this came from that first honey hole, so I paid, you know, 70 cents on this trip for all my items. This came from the uh, the Honey Hole in Moralton, which is about 15 miles away. Just a cute little Walt Disney World Tinkerbell shirt. And you know, I love Disney. And when you can pick up something from the parks, it raises the um, value of it. 
but I just thought that was sweet. Now the next three items came from the Salvation Army. Okay, I don't always shop at Salvation Army. I, I like ours in Conwood, but they've kind of changed some of their rules where I'm not getting things quite as cheaply. But what I found were one, two, let's see, where's the other one? There, three new with tags, Spencer Alexis Petite's little jackets. Aren't those pretty? real pretty lightweight they would be great for this summer um, they're all vintage and the new with tags were showing if I'm thinking right around $25 a, an item and I did pay they was they were half price at Salvation Army yay and she counted them as shirts so they ended up being a dollar and a half each the next item is, is an item I found at that first one 70 cents for a real cute black blacks linen jacket. Isn't that cute? Wouldn't that be cute over a little summer uh, dress or just, I mean, you can dress that up or down, but blacks always sells, always. The next from that same 70 cents each, this is an Eileen Fisher. It's a petite small, but it's just a long cardigan. I guess you could wear it as a dress, but Mm, I couldn't, <laughs> but it's just a long cardigan or a long dress, uh, cute little sleeveless and I, by Eileen Fisher. Now, when I first started this two and a half years ago, if you had anything by Eileen Fisher, it was bought immediately. You put it out, it was bought. I didn't have many things, but they were bought immediately. I picked up two or three Eileen Fishers lately um, and none of them have sold yet, but Maybe I'm pricing them too high like they used to be. So I need to go back and evaluate your, my prices to see if I am too high. Do you ever go back and check your prices on items that maybe were getting that amount of money and now they've changed? We really ought to do that. We really ought to go through all of our prices, you know, at the change of the season, say spring and fall. You know, go back and check to see uh, if our prices are right. And if they're not, just reduce them. You know, if it hadn't moved, if it's been there for six months, it may not move. So reduce them and get, get a better price and they'll get moving. Because as somebody I remember saying, probably lots of people, we're not a storage unit, okay? Now, the next item is a Maeve. First time I believe I've ever gotten Maeve. And I got this cute little um, skirt Skirts don't sell real well for me, but it does have a cute little exposed zipper, and uh, it being Maeve, I bet you I can sell it. The next item is an Ivanka Trump Trump dress, and yes, that the last item and this were at that same one, and I paid 70 cents for it. Isn't it pretty though? It's just a real classic pretty dress. Um, you know, I think I'll be able to get you know, $20, $25 for it. Okay, we're moving right along, aren't we? Okay, now, this is another thing I've never seen in the stores. Now, you're going, oh, another really good thing. No, I don't know that they're necessarily, but I don't remember anybody talking about Merrill clothing. Now, I bought the shoes and sold them really well, but I don't think anybody's talked about Merrill clothing. But when I saw this, I didn't look up comps. I just thought, hey, it's worth a try. You know, I did pay $3 for these. So it's a little bit more of a chance than 70 cents, but that's okay. It'll be okay. Next item is a new with tags and it is an LL Bean. And I don't know about y'all, but, and it, it maybe not as nice anymore. I don't know, but LL Bean used to be a really quality material, but these are really nice khakis. Uh, like I said, new with tags. I think that they'll be really nice and someone will enjoy them. This is a pair of yoga pants. Now, I got these, I don't see the tag. I got these for my granddaughter. Apparently, I thought my granddaughter had grown. I think I just pulled them out and thought, oh, she'll like them. 
but they're a little big. I think there is a tag. Uh, what are they? What are they? Um, Libby Active, okay? And I believe Libby Active is the Lane Bryant um, activewear. Okay, the next item is also an Eileen Fisher, and it's a cute pair of 3X. Hey, that's a winner. Eileen Fisher, plus size, I'll take it any day. Just a nice pair of black capri pants that, uh, you know, are really nice. Next item is a pair of uh, Nike capris. Just a little emblem there, nothing fancy, but these are a large and perfect time of the year right now for getting out, doing something fun, going for hikes, uh, just getting out and enjoying nature. It's beautiful out there. Next item, and this came from that first store, is a Ralph Lauren distressed pair of jeans. I liked them. I like, y'all know, I like Ralph Lauren, always has. It's always been classic. I've always liked, but I've never seen any Ralph Lauren distressed jeans. So, tickle me, we'll see if they sell. The next item is a, hey, guess what? A pretty checked Ralph Lauren um, button, up, button down. This is a size, let's see, large. I just thought it was pretty. Um, I sold two medium ones um, today. Uh, made pay, buyer paid thirty-two dollars. Um, I, I lotted them together. I've told you I liked a lot. Lotted them together. You know, hey, that was a good price. I don't pay much for my shirts, so this one actually, I'm pretty surprised. But somebody must have donated a bunch of Ralph Lauren because. Uh, and this all was at that 70 cents each um, honey hole. Now this is a Brooks Brothers, but isn't that just the prettiest, prettiest green check? Such a nice spring and summer color. So I'm hoping that goes too, and it is a 15 and a half by 35. Okay, the next four shirts, this one, this one right here was at that honey hole. 70 cents. I don't know if I told you that a second ago. The next three were all at that honey hole, and I haven't decided what I'm going to do with them, uh, but a nice, and I don't know if this is like red or pink, but it's kind of between the two, a coral, but it's just a pretty, this was at that store for 70 cents. Um, this is a brown striped Ralph Lauren, large, 70 cents. Pink, Ralph Lauren Large, 70 cents. And none of these have anything wrong with them except, and I will show you this, okay? Um, well, this one doesn't have it. Let me see if one of these does. A lot of times, Ralph Lauren shirts, apparently he was not rough on his clothing because none of them have it. But a lot of times, down here in this seam, down here, it'll be, um, be worn. Okay, I think because the fabric pulls when we try to put it over our tummies and our bellies. So, uh, now this one was an extra large, real pretty uh, blue and white striped nautical looking shirt. But all four of them, including the two long sleeve, all came from that honey hole. I had a great day at the honey hole. Okay, the next is a pair of king size shorts. It is a brand, it's a catalog brand. Um, they are large, they are size, let's see, 3XL big. So big shorts, it's hard for larger people to find clothes at thrift stores because you go in and the plus size is, or the larger men's size is this big and the smaller medium is this big. So, you know, that's just something to remember that larger people can't always find things at thrift stores. They may like the thrift store idea and the prices, but they can't always find what they want. Okay, so one more. I found this cute pair of Tough Nuff oh, Vintage Overalls. They're pretty small, probably a female. I don't know if y'all remember, um, but I had a pair of Carhartt overalls that had been cut off for short alls. Those sold for $35. And 
you know, people probably had gone on by it and ignored it because they were cutoffs. Well, some larger girl probably loved them. Okay, next. Let me do this quick. I'm sorry, guys. I love to talk. I love to talk. My kids could always get me off uh, subject in school because I love to talk. These are a pair of Ugg suede tennis shoes. Too cute. I wish they were my size. I would keep them. Now, these two both came from Salvation Army. I did pay $4 for them. But look at these Converse slides. Aren't they cute? I've never seen Converse slides. So, you know, I'm hoping they're a size uh, women's nine and a half. Uh, just, they're in really good shape. There does appear to be a little bit of a, as you can see, where maybe the glue, I don't know what that is. Looks like maybe where the glue was. Okay, the next thing is a pair of Bionics. Um, really cute Bionic wedges. I, I'll buy, if they're Bionics, you know, I, I'll buy them. None of my shoes here in this area cost more than $4, so I'm more than, unless, unless they deem them as designer and then you know, that might be a pair of Skechers that they're going to charge $9.99 for. I don't go there. Okay, the next is a pair of Alakai. I think that's how you pronounce it. If it's not, let me know. But, uh, the Alakai. And, um, these were at the one in Marlton, so they were $3. So, I know you can't read, but that's the symbol of the Alakai. I always sell them. I always sell them for good money, too. Okay, then I picked up a few uh, a few hard good items. Okay, I don't know that I'm gonna make a lot of money, but I'll always pick up Panasonic or RCA or any of them because they're vintage. And generally, if they're still working now, they're pretty well made. So I'll always pick up the, uh, the vintage tape players. Okay, now. I don't know what this is, and I tied it thinking, oh, maybe that's how you do it. But maybe I just goofed and got got goofed up on this pair, this um, hat. But I just thought it was so pretty. Isn't that a beautiful pillbox hat? Pillbox hat. I don't know what these are for. If you know what these are for, let me know in the comments. And this is by Lucy Ames, and it was two dollars. And it is. Um, union made, so we definitely know it's vintage. Okay, I picked up a few uh, plush. I've been watching a lot of channels, and they're plush, and it's gotten me enthused. I love plush. I have plush. I sell plush, but I've really gotten where I look through all the plush now to see it. Now, I got this. Her name's Giggles. She needs a bath, but uh, she is uh, baby starters, and you know, I've heard that if a parent has, if the child has something they loved and it gets torn up or lost or whatever, they'll do whatever it takes to buy that. And so I thought this might be somebody's baby's favorite toy and it may have gotten torn up or it may have gotten lost. So I'm going to put that on there. The next is this 2-4K, I think, 2-4K alligator or crocodile. It looks, the tag looks vintage. I mean, Kenny, it's hardly anything on there, so it may have just been washed a bunch. But I picked it up. All of these smaller items, the plush, were 25 cents. So, you know, you can't go wrong. Okay, the Power Puff, Powder Puff Girls. I don't know if this one's even worth anything, but isn't it cute? And I think it's vintage because those were big when my daughter was young. And she's 27, will be 28 next week. Oh my gosh, and she's the youngest. My oldest one's 30. Okay, now, this one right here was 50 cents because they deemed it larger. And I bought this for the same reason I bought the other one because it's soft and cuddly and somebody's child may need that. And this one is a Gans horse. I'll be honest, I don't know, but it was 50 cents also. I don't, I don't know how they deem what's medium, but this was 50 cents. And they made a cute horse, a Clydesdale. I just thought it was so pretty. Pretty little horse. And then the last item I've gotten 
Oh, I lied. There's one more down here. I'm a sucker for Disney. And this is Daisy Duck. And she is a uh, Disney plush that, again, she needs loving. By that means she needs a wash. So, I picked that up also. Okay, the last item I got, and I don't know anything about it. So, if you do, I'd appreciate helping me out. I haven't run Google Lens or anything like that yet, but I don't see anything, any kind of markings on it. But I picked it up because, I mean, isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? It's all a hard plastic. You know, you got to get what you got to get. Uh, let's see. Okay. I think that's all. I hurried. I think I hurried. It's still 20 minutes long. I'm sorry. If you like this video and you would uh, like others, subscribe. If you like this video, please hit the like button because it would, I mean, honestly, mean the world to me. So, now what I need you to do is to go out and find your redo.